Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is Harold. Uh, today on our Power Star hot water, instant hot water, or tankless hot water, whatever you want to call it, we're going to be changing the heating element. So the heating element on this side is bad. The, the fuse keeps tripping. So we determine that the heating element is bad and we're going to change it. So stick around and see how we do that. And while you have a moment, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And it could be about anything. <laughs> so anyway, let's uh, figure out what we need to do here and get the tools out and get on with this. Hey, so I went out and I turned the breakers off. And I also turned the water off coming into the house. I also shut off all my valves here to try to keep this, the water down to a minimum. And you should have water valves like that one over there. And I got water valves all over so I can turn everything off. And so I don't have a bunch of water leaking all over. So, so more valves is good. But I still, even after turning these off, I still went ahead and turned the one off outside. So I'm going to go drain the water from one of the sinks and I'll be right back. Yeah, so I drain the water from the sinks just to make sure I don't have any pressure here because I don't want water spraying in the laundry room. And uh, so now I'm going to go up there and see what all we got to do to get that out of there. Uh, I'm going to put the camera up there and put it, point it down on it and so you can see what I'm doing. So I guess the first thing I should do is test the power just to make sure that there's no power to it. So I'm going to take my multimeter and I'm going to put it on. It has to be 600 volts because it has to be 600 volts because this is over 200 volts. So we want to make sure we check it with the right voltage. So I'm just going to test these lugs down here. Got nothing there. And I got nothing there. So that's good. No power. But the way that we determine that this is bad, if you set your meter to ohms and you put one lead there and then you come over here to ground, you see you got resistance and that's not what you want. So next, I have a little pan here just to catch any water that might come out. And now I got to just kind of look at this. I see that screw's got to come off. See, this new one comes with a new gasket, which we will be using. And, and that's about it. It goes in like that. So the thermostat fits right here. It goes into this little hole here. So the thermostat has to come off. And multi-screwdrivers, multi purpose and tip screwdrivers are pretty good. I'm going to need that Phillips. So I'm just going to put it there. First thing we're going to do is take this wire loose. I test stuff with the back of my hand. So if there is current, it don't, I don't, my nerves don't grab it and hold on to it. So there's no current. Got the screw off, got the lock washer off. That goes there. Now I got to switch back to the Phillips. Take this thermostat off. I kind of thought that they would send me a new thermostat. Fusible thermostat. But being they didn't, I'm just going to use the one that I have here. So now that has the ground with that wire, so I don't want to mess with it too much. I don't want it in my way either. That's over there, out of the way. So now I gotta take this brown lead off. If you didn't already take a picture of this, you should take a picture of it. So you don't get them in the wrong place. I have pictures and video. So make sure you do that before you get started. Trying to get that communication wire off. So now it is disconnected. And now this whole thing needs to come off. But, let's see if I can get this 
little computer board off of here. If I remember right from the last time I took it off, there's a screw back there on the back side of the heating element that you can't get off without taking this all the way off. So we're going to take this off. There's another screw goes there. And then there's another screw right down in here. I'm doing this by feel because even if I get there up there and look, I can't see anything. I'll show you with the camera in just a second where all this stuff goes. Self-explanatory and you guys will know what I'm talking about. So now this can come right off here just like this. These wires just go down through there and then you can put this right back up on top of the heating element that you're going to be working with in a minute. So now we've got all the bolts ex ex exposed, I do believe. And that looks like a 5 16 and I don't have one in here, so I'm going to have to go to the shed and get my little wrench set. Let me see if I'm off chance. I don't think that fits. No, they don't fit. So let me go get a socket set to take these off, and I'll be right back. I'm not promoting or telling you you should use any of these tools, but this is cobalt. I don't have my Craftsman tool set with me or I'd be using it. It's up at the shop. So now I'm just going to open this up and see what size socket we need. It is 5 sixteenths. So now I'm going to get the back ones that are the hardest first. The last time I did this, I didn't take this control board and stuff off. And I didn't see this bolt in the back here. And it was giving me a fit. So, but this time I knew to take that off. And those are quite long. So it takes a few turns to get it out of there. So we got it out. That's the problem right there. You see the heating element exploded right there. So this is no good. We got to put the new one in. Well, first we got a little cleaning, cleaning to do. So around this top is pretty gritty. We want to get that off of there and make sure there's nothing in there. I'm gonna get a sponge and get as much of that out of there as I can little rough things here got to be got to be cleaned off don't go crazy with it just want it smooth we don't want to gouge no holes in this in it but we don't want uh, corrosion water that's corroded on here to stay on here we want to get it as clean as we can Go around here and check everything. Make sure that it is nice and clean. I'm going to get a little sponge and get some of that water out of there so it don't make a mess. So just an ordinary little sponge. Just going to dip it in here. That's enough. It ain't going to... That little bit of water in there is not going to hurt a thing. Just make sure it's clean. Clean is good. Now I'm going to get a paper towel and dry it off. Okay. I don't want anything getting on our new seal coming in here. So now we're going to put a new seal in here. And here it is, right here. And it got a little water on it, so I'm going to dry it off. Make sure you use the new seal. It goes in there like that. So now we got the seal in there and got it lined up. It's down all the way around. It came with new screws, so we're going to use the new screws that came with it. Now that you got all the bolts tightened down, 
before you go connect and everything you want to do a water test to test for leaks so I'm going to go turn the water on and come back and check for leaks I know it's hard to see but the brown one goes over here the other brown one goes right next to it the computer wire goes to the middle and this blue wire goes to one terminal and the other blue wire goes to the other terminal so you got those four wires going that way now next we're going to put the thermostat back on. And we probably should use a little bit of this on that also. There wasn't none on there before. But it wouldn't hurt. Just to make sure we get a good connection. Put a little bit on there. On each side. And now we're going to put those screws back in. This one goes right here. The red one goes here. Now I gotta remove this screw on the back side here and put that ground on there. Which may be easier said than done because it's just not easy to get to. Let's see how this is gonna work. Easy peasy. It's just easy as one, two, three. What we did, we took this one out because it was leaking right there or, or the element was burnt out right there. And we put a new element in, wired it back up. We're going to turn the water on, make sure we don't have no leaks. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And ring that bell for future videos. And I'll have another one pretty soon. But I don't know what it'll be about because I do all kinds of videos. Anyway, you guys have an awesome day. And thank you for watching.